Let's go. Euh, bonjour John, je suis content de pouvoir parler avec toi de Dead Daisy. À la création du groupe, il y a eu beaucoup de monde qui ont été sceptiques. Ils ont pensé que c'était qu'un super groupe de plus, créé dans le but de faire un album. Or, dès le début, l'alchimie a pris et ça a très bien fonctionné. Hi John, I'm glad to can have a talk with you to, about uh, Dead Daisies today. Uh, at the beginning of the band, uh, the, a lot of people uh, were skeptic, skeptical. Mm -hmm. skeptical. They thought that it wasn't more than a super group, uh, another super group uh, created just to make an album, an, an album, another album. But it was the beginning of a, of a, of a new, uh, a new creation, and uh, it has worked very well. Yeah, I think um, I think originally David, our guitar players. Did person that started this band. He did start it with another singer mm -hmm. and for whatever reasons, uh, they're both from Australia. Um, they did a bunch of shows and then for some reason they had other stuff lined up and the other singer uh, couldn't do them. His schedule was different so I came in. And I think, um, you know, he, he wanted a band. Uh, <laughs> But it was very difficult because um, they kind of grew up in public. So the other singer was in a band called In Excess, yeah. and David, and so uh, they wrote wrote songs, recorded uh, with studio musicians, and then he said, well, this record's pretty good, let's go out and do some shows live. So then they hired... Richard Fortas and Marco and Brian Tishy and all these guys and um, they made a few changes but it, in America we say uh, they did they put this band together like ass backwards uh, okay most bands get together uh, they jam a little bit they figure out who the members are then they try and get a record deal then they do a record and then they go on tour this one they just wrote the songs put people together to do the record and then put a band together to go on tour sometimes people get along sometimes they don't so they've made changes in public but I think this is the lineup now we're all good and hopefully this will be around for a long time <laughs> En fait, depuis le, de, au tout début, il y avait un autre chanteur dans le groupe. Euh, donc, quand, quand David a, a voulu créer, a créé le, le groupe, il y avait un autre chanteur. Il, au début, il voulait, il voulait essentiellement faire un album, effectivement, avec des musiciens studio, et puis faire autre chose après sur scène avec d'autres musiciens. Il euh, y a plein de musiciens qui sont passés euh, dans le groupe, ça, ça a brassé beaucoup parce qu'il n'y avait pas vraiment de, de cohésion au début euh, sur le, sur le, le line-up. Et puis euh, au fur et à mesure, eh ben, les, les musiciens se sont, sont faits à jouer ensemble, se sont vraiment trouvés des affinités et maintenant euh, John pense que c'est vraiment le, le noyau dur et le, la, la force du, du groupe qui fait... Euh, cette composition fait vraiment la force du groupe. Donc on va passer directement à la question 2, du coup, euh, sur les teasers euh, du groupe, les vidéos, et bien sûr en live, euh, vous avez l'air de vous amuser, de prendre du plaisir à jouer ensemble. Penses-tu que c'est l'une des clés euh, du succès de Dead Daisy Ça deux. Uh, teasers, uh, the band on, uh, on the internet, we see, we, we, we see you on the videos, uh, live that you you look like you, like you are you have fun very uh, very good fun on stage uh, and uh, even when you you, uh, you perform wherever you perform mm -hmm. and to to have pleasure to play together that's yes. what you said uh, with your the last lineup <coughs> uh, do you think it's one of the of the keys of the reason why uh, that this is a such a success? Well, I think, yes, to a degree, yes, to a degree. Um, I think uh, if, if the band, if the band is on stage and ha 
having fun with each other, uh, the audience sees it and feels it, and then it kind of loosens everybody up. They, you know, the thing the thing of it is though about this band, like we realize that the music industry isn't what it used to be. It's very difficult, and I know this sounds uh, cliche, but. Um, we're very blessed that, you know, I, for me, for example, I've been doing this for almost 40 years, and we're still having success, still doing records, still touring the world, so we feel very happy about that, you know, we feel very blessed that we are still being able, or being given the opportunity to continue forward with music. Um, so we're, we're just like, this is awesome, we're just having fun. Uh, so, and I think when the audience sees it, they kind of feed off of the fact that we're having fun. Then we start having fun with the audience, like I'll tease people in the audience. And so it's just, it's just supposed to be lighthearted, rock and roll, have a good time, it's like a party. Um, euh, donc, euh, John est tout à fait d'accord avec ça et ça peut, on ne peut, peut pas avoir. Euh, il, il, re, il, reçoit, il reçoit la joie du public sur scène et, euh, et la retranscrit aussi, euh, euh, donc lui au public sur scène, enfin, sur le groupe la, la retranscrit. Et euh, il, est, il se sent très, euh, très heureux et très. Euh, euh, privilégié quelque part d'avoir euh, d'avoir pu avoir la, la chance de faire ce métier pendant pendant tant d'années avec toujours autant de plaisir euh, et toujours donner autant de autant de joie à son au public euh, qui est content de venir le voir. Euh, tu peux nous parler du dernier album euh, de Dead Daisy comment il a été composé en studio ou euh, ou à distance? Uh, may you tell us uh, how the last album of Dead Daisy were built? Was it uh, all in studio, or was it, uh, did you all uh, made separate parts? Uh, uh, no, we're each, all uh, each other. No, you were together. We're all together. So every record, we we all meet somewhere because we're all from different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, Doug and Marco live in Los Angeles. Dean lives in the state of Oregon. And I live in Nashville, Tennessee. David, our other guitar player, goes from New York, Australia, all the time, back and forth. So when we decide to do a record, we go, okay, let's meet here, wherever, here. And we get together and we write for maybe 10 days. And then, um, like, uh, for example, the last record we were in, uh, the last record we did, we wrote in New York for 10 days, and then we pack everything up, and we go to Nashville, where Marty, our producer, lives, and we go to his studio, mm -hmm. and we work every day, for, even Sundays, like, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning till 9 or 10 o'clock at night, every day, and we finish the record. But everybody's in the same room together all the time. Oui. Donc euh, le dernier album a été euh, conçu euh, comme tous les autres, euh, même si euh, les musiciens viennent d'endroits de, différents. Euh, donc il y en a deux qui viennent de Los Angeles, euh, John de, 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 from Nashville, you said. I live in Nashville. Nashville, yes. yeah. uh, One, uh, un de, de l'Oregon et, euh, et euh, donc euh, oui. euh, David qui est entre euh, l'Australie et New York. Euh, ils décident tous de se réunir à un moment donné à un ils endroit précis. Dans le ils, en, ils créent l'album à un endroit, ils l'écrivent à un endroit, et après ils se réunissent euh, où il y a leur producteur euh, pour, euh, pour euh, enregistrer l'album. Euh, tu as joué plusieurs fois en France, euh, qu'est-ce que tu penses du public français Tu as joué plusieurs fois en France, qu'est-ce que tu penses du public français I love it. I love coming here. 
You know, it, it's it's funny whether it's uh, you know Marseille, whether it's Paris, uh, Annecy. You know, like I, you know, it's funny. I've had some friends, and I'm not I'm not being sarcastic or mean, but I've had some friends, musicians in America, that come to France, and they're like. Ugh. French, they're they're uh, they're always like this, uh, you know. And I go, I don't get that. Like I don't see it at all. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know. So every time that I've been here, even with Motley Crue, uh, with Union, some of my older bands, I've always had a great fucking time in France. It's like unbelievable. So I love talking with the people. Um, I love you know drinking the wine, sitting in a cafe and having some wine and. Smoking cigarettes and just talking about life, man. It's it's awesome. I I, I uh, um, I've had nothing but it's great bummer. experiences in France, all through France, in the south, in the north, you know, wherever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all good. Sometimes that's the the, the, ima the image that uh, you, you no, you know. To, uh, well, I'll I'll let you have answer or but um, it's it's funny. I think. Uh, like you know, when Americans come over here, there's there's a bit of a uh, it's the way the questions are phrased, okay. and I understand. Like I don't I don't take offense to things. You know what I mean? So I've realized like um, uh, what the intention is. Do you know what I mean? Like so, someone in France may come to me and go, uh, "Why do you wear this shirt?" And, and so, like, the American interpretation of it is like, why are you wearing that shirt? You know what I mean? Why do you wear this shirt? And so, it's, it's a, they're asking a, a question, but I think the intent is taken the wrong way. And I just never let it get to me, you know what I mean? I understand that there's a, little, a bit of a language thing. And so, a French person will say, why do you wear this shirt? And I go, I don't know, because I wanted to. And they laugh, uh, you know, it's fine. I have a great time here. Fais-nous un débrief rapide. <rire> Donc on a compris euh, qu'il aimait le public français. Ouais, le public français euh, l'a toujours très bien reçu. Lui, il n'a jamais eu de problème avec le public français. Et euh, au contraire, il adore venir ici euh, sans, être, euh, sans paraître... Euh, euh, sans, sans vouloir être euh, euh, voilà, plus, plus aimable que ça. Mais... Euh, mm. Je ne sais plus comment on dit en français. Oui, pas grave. Euh, mais il, il adore être ici, euh, s'asseoir à une terrasse, boire un café, boire une bière euh, avec des potes, euh, du vin, euh, rencontrer différentes personnes à Marseille, à Paris, euh, même à Annecy, il n'y a aucun problème. Il adore la France. Donc la dernière question, euh, dis-lui que c'est une question euh, funny. Euh, c'est une question euh, rigolote, euh, con. Est-ce qu'il pense que faire du rock and roll ça aide avec les filles? Okay. Uh, do you think playing rock and roll helps you with the girls? Ah, uh, or boys? Or no, whatever. no, no. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> you know, uh, honestly, I I have never. Yes, to a degree, yes, but. <laughs> I've never been one where I'm like, uh, you know, looking for it, you know, so, um, I, I don't know, like, I've, I've, I, again, I've had friends in other bands that are just, the minute we're done playing, they're out looking for, you know, a girl or whatever, and I just, I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, I'm married, so I don't, I have a good one at home, so, you know what I mean, I don't, whatever, but... Alors, there, there, there's definitely a lot of attractive women that like bad boys. <rire> les femmes aiment les, les mauvais garçons. Allez, on va se terminer là-dessus. Merci, John. Merci. Bon concert. Uh, see you later, my friend. I hope so.